Oh my god. Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Welcome everyone, my name is Dora and today I'm showing you how to make the best whip scrub ever. This scrub is soft, fluffy, and can be piped into a jar. It even stays whipped up in high temperatures, like 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I left this scrub uncovered for 30 hours and it was still soft and fluffy but it's also an amazing exfoliator and leaves skin feeling fresh, clean, exfoliated, and soft. You are going to love it. For the full recipe and substitutions, please read the description. The SLSA is optional. I add it because it adds a little bit of foam and lather. Cool the mixture to room temperature. I freeze my mixing bowl. It's the easiest and quickest way I found to chill the mixture in just a few minutes. Plus, I'll be using it anyways. Now, scrape the sides of the bowl and add wet ingredients. Make sure the mixture is room temperature before whipping. And slowly add the type and amount of exfoliate that you want. Last, add the secret ingredient that keeps the scrub soft and fluffy, coconut oil. The first batch had the exact same recipe as this, except the coconut oil. It was soft and fluffy at first, then after 24 hours, it became dense, stiff, and crumbly. Add 25 grams at a time, testing after each addition. More on this in the description. The poppy seeds look nice, add granular flair, and feel great too. For more awesome tutorials just like this, and to show your support and appreciation, subscribe now. Look how gorgeous that scrub is, so thick and fluffy. I wanted to just stick my hands in there and cover my body with it. Use a large tip for multiple colored swirls, place scoops of different colors on top each other. I added a little bit of purple and blue liquid gel food color.
if using a lid, remember to fill it just under the full line. Use clear dome lids to display swirls. While piping, glance at the empty container to estimate piping placement. To garnish the top of the swirls, sprinkle a few more poppy seeds or even blue jojoba beads or even some sparkle. This is for Flogopite, a synthetic mica. It's heavier than normal mica, so when you tap the spoon, it falls directly onto the swirls. I know it's hard, but try not to go overboard with the garnishes. Trust me, less looks better. After making the scrub, I left them uncovered in a hot studio room to test them. It was 76 degrees when I left and 86 degrees when I got back in. The next day, they looked exactly the same. The whipped scrub is fluffy, soft, and holds together beautifully. The scrub goes on, evenly distributes into a light, fluffy blanket that provides gentle exfoliation and cleansing. The sugar exfoliates perfectly. The poppy seeds also exfoliate and feel really nice. Little ones will also love the scrub. Feels good? It feels really good. There is no greasy residue once the scrub is rinsed due to the SLSA. Thanks for joining me. I added some snapshots. I spent four hours taking pictures yesterday, so I'm trying to get the most out of them. Speaking of, if you make any of my projects, I'd love to see pictures. Post them on Instagram and tag me so they'll show up on my page. Check out the description for the recipe, helpful tips, and all items used in this video will be linked at the bottom. And I already know you'll love the scrub.